Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this evening's presentation of Spirituals, celebrating the music, life, and legacy of Roland Hayes. Part 1. Events of the Old Testament I'll make me a man. Just as the late James Weldon Johnson, the poet, heard the master singing ministers of my people in his childhood. These great song sermons and prayers of the mighty preachers of pre-Civil War days became ritual and thereafter were given by all the great and near great who followed. This particular song is the first of this collection, an excerpt from the creation sermon called God's Trombones. It contains the words of this sermon in its entirety. The song realizes its mood in a setting which alternates between chant and dramatic recitation that's bound together by an inevitable rhythmic pulse that rises to an emotional climax with a reiterated, exultant Amen. Little David, play on your harp. How can we sing in a strange land? It was like an echo of his own people's anguish, finding constancy in song and word. Dry Bones this song deals with the resurrection of my people. It's hope, like that of Israel, revived in the living with the promise of Christ's kingdom. The mode interchanges between major and minor. Didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? A recall of the promise to Joshua in the Old Testament. Despite its apparent hopeful character, there's a feeling of poignant longing. A witness. In a characteristic and picturesque pattern, the narrator of this song summons both the Old and New Testaments, knitting them together. He concludes the song sermon with the pertinent question, who be a witness for my Lord? And God walked around And God looked around On all that he had made He looked at his son He looked at his moon and his little stars all its living things and God said I'm lonely still God sat down on the side of a hill God sat down could think God sat down by a deep wide river God sat down with his head and his hands God thought and thought till he thought I'll make me a man up from the bed of the river God scooped up the clay Ah! 
connected with the foot bone. The foot bone connected with the ankle bone. The ankle bone connected with the leg bone. The leg bone connected with the knee bone. The knee bone connected with the thigh bone. Rise and hear the word of the Lord. Tell me how did the bones get together with the head bone? Prophesy. The hip bone, the hip bone connected with the backbone, the backbone connected with the shoulder bone, the shoulder bone connected to the neck bone, the neck bone connected with the head bone. Rise and hear the word of the For my Lord, 
then who will be a witness? Now who will be a witness? Oh, who will be a witness for my Part two, abstractions from Old and New Testaments. You're tired, child. My angel Mo, the nickname of his mother, died in 1923, but the singing of this folk song resurrected her and brought her presence before me. The song told the story of a woman of pre-Civil War days who had worked hard as a slave and lived to be 80. When she felt her time to be near, immediately she was surrounded by all of the heavenly hosts who greeted her with loving enthusiasm. They saw how weary and worn she was and begged her to sit down and rest a while, but she couldn't sit down. Plenty good room, exuberant rhythmic emotion, joy in anticipation mirrored through faith. This is one of the mighty pillars that support the Afro-American throughout his experiences. Two wings, a fantasy to set free serious concern with life, death, and union with God, with the ability to follow gaily in the steps. A particular charm of this song lies in its syncopation, which must be sung without stress or heavy accent, on tiptoe, so to speak. The melody is like reaching for something not quite within reach. Heaven reminds me of my ecstasy as a child, the anticipation of a brand new pair of brass tip brogans at Christmas time really stirred in me. It was a thrill not to be described in mere words. The royal gifts of shoes and other adornments, which are promised every true and faithful child when he reaches God's heaven. Steal away. This song is said to be inspired and born in a cotton field where there were a great number of slaves hoeing cotton. The leader, who always planned when the slaves would go secretly after nightfall to hear a northern white clergyman preach the gospel of salvation through Christ, would first whisper, steal away. Then the spoken word gradually took on a melody, which surged forth increasingly on the rhythmic verve of spirit-filled African idiomatic patterns which added accompaniment background to the song and lasted throughout the end of the workday. You must come in by and through the land. As my people contemplated the limitless power of the Almighty, he was viewed by them in terms of a fourth dimension, which is to say, no matter what one does or what powers one may muster in an effort to escape God, it's not possible to go over, under, or around him. It's futile. Only one procedure is open. Round about the mountain. This song is said to have originated in the Appalachian Mountains of Tennessee. A young woman before departing this life 
acknowledged God as her Lord and Savior. She didn't die in her sins, which is the good reason for the exalted joy felt by the entire community. Plenty good room, plenty good room I just choose your 
your seat and set out. Oh, I want two wings to veil my face. I want two wings to fly away, Lord. I want two wings to veil my face, and I want two wings for to fly away. Oh, I want two wings to veil my face. I want two wings to fly away, Lord. I want two wings to veil my face, and I want two wings for to fly away. I want two wings to veil my face I want two wings to fly away, Lord I want two wings to veil my face And I want two wings for to fly away I want two wings to veil my face I want two wings to fly away, Lord I want two wings to veil my face And I want Two wings for to fly. I got a warm, you got a warm, all I got is chillin', got a warm. I get to heaven, gonna put on my woe. I'm gonna shout all over God's heaven, heaven, heaven. Everybody talk about a heaven, ain't a going there. Heaven, heaven. I'm gonna shout all over God's heaven. Well, I got shoes, you got a shoes. All I got is children, got a shoes. When I get to heaven, gonna put on my shoes I'm gonna dance all over God's heaven Heaven, heaven Everybody talk about a heaven and a going to heaven Heaven, I'm gonna dance all over God's heaven I got a song, you got a song All I got's chillin', got a song When I get to heaven, gonna sing a new song I'm gonna sing all over God's heaven Heaven, heaven Everybody talk about a heaven and a going to heaven Heaven, I'm gonna sing all over God's heaven Gonna sing all over God's heaven Gonna sing all over God's heaven Oh, wait.
Trembling, the trumpet sounds within my soul. I ain't got long to stay here. Go to God with 
your lips and tongue But you'll leave your heart behind Part three, the life of Christ. No story appeals to man's finer creative vision than that of the life of Christ. The early Christian chants, the masses of Palestrina, the passions, oratorios, masses of Bach, Handel, and Beethoven. Among many others are the musical panorama of the mute majesty of the life of God on earth. For the church soloist who may wish to give an Easter program of Afro-American songs, I direct attention to the third panel of 10 songs that deal with the life of Christ. There you will find passion music, specially arranged with instrumental prelude and connecting interludes so that a continuous performance may be given without a break in the music. Prepare me one body. The text of this song is not found in any of the Gospels and prophecies, but biblical references are found in the book of Philippians 2, verses 5 through 8. Christ Jesus, who took upon him the form of a servant, was made in the likeness of men humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Little Boy, a solo type folk song. This particular song was sung to me by my old friend, William L. Shelton. He had once heard it sung by a traveling evangelist. I have written its accompaniment in a pure African design suggested by an idiomatic rhythmic pattern given to me by a Nigerian in London. I have arranged it to retain as nearly as possible its original flavor through our conventional harmonic form and conventional instrument, the piano. Live a humble cautions us of the daily temptations of this life of continuing faithfully active in the sense of our duties to God and one another. It also treats us to the miracles of Jesus. Hear the lambs are crying? Jesus sensed the frailties of mankind and sought with utmost compassion to help man in his weakness. He inquires so gently, 
so beseechingly, Peter, if you love me, feed up my sheep. He 
was standing on Mount Olivet Green, and when he dispersed all the crowd, he entered up into a cloud. Little boy, how old are you? Little boy, how old are you? Little boy, how old are you? Sir, I'm only twelve years old. I live a humble. The bells are done wrong, I live a humble, humble, humble yourself. The bells are done wrong, glory and honor, glory and honor, praise the Lamb. Oh, my Lord's done just what he said, you know he healed the sick and he raised the dead. I live a humble, humble, humble yourself. The bells are done wrong. Did you ever see such a man as God Who gave up his son for to come and die He gave up his son for to come and die Just to save my soul from a burning fire I live a humble, humble, humble yourself The bells are done wrong, glory and honor Glory and honor, praise the Lamb I live a humble, humble Humble yourself, the bells are done wrong I live a humble, humble, humble yourself The bells are done wrong Oh, 
4, The Passion of Our Lord. According to Paul Henry Lang, traced back to the ninth century, here is the first appearance of a dramatic dialogue in the church service. The dramatic atmosphere was not restricted to the dialogue. The incidents which mark the birth of Christ, the adoration of the shepherds, the magi, the wrath of Herod, and the massacre of the innocents. All of this provided the materials for the Christmas cycle and the resurrection, the other important cycle, Easter. The simple dialogue sung at Easter time, the colossal literature of the Passion was developed. The traditional form presented by the church is the Mass, Kyrie, Gloria, Credo, Sanctus, Benedictus, and Agnus Dei, all of which were retained by Luther. These were the song sermons of my people, perhaps an adapted continuation of the German sermon of Reformation days, or rather a kind of pacleon, a form of sermon in music. The Afro-American has pictured with understanding the spiritual essence, the tender but poignant passion of our Lord in poetry and music. The passion groups of songs are not used consecutively in the Afro-American church service as they appear here, but it may be of interest to realize how effective these songs can be on an Easter observance occasion. They led my Lord away. Jesus had come to his disciples and said, The hour is come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. He never said a mumbling word. Christ's mission had to be filled. They crucified him in respect both to its music and to its marvelous words, this song is a masterwork among all Afro-American religious folk songs. Were you there? The Afro-American poets and musicians set Christ's death on the cross apart from that of all others. Only through his death did all mankind fall heir to salvation and life eternal. We of all races and of every creed are brought together in one embrace. The all-important question, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Rather in the sense of the responsibilities which his death places upon us to love and serve God and one another, are you there? Sometimes it causes me to tremble. Did you hear when Jesus rose? And the angel answered and said unto the women, Mary Magdalene and the mother Mary, He is not here, for he is risen. Go quickly and tell his disciples. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. The triumph of Jesus of a death preserves entirely the ecstatic joy expressed at the resurrection of our Lord. Tell me where to find 
They led him up to Pilate's farm. Tell me where to find him. But they could not condemn him there. Tell me where to find him.
The blood came to wrinkle him down And he never said a mumbling word Oh, not a word Not a word Not a word He bowed his head and died, and he never said a mumbling word. He bowed his head. said a mumbling word, oh, not a word, not a word, not a Were you there when they crucified my Lord? To tremble, to tremble, to tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when the sun refused to shine? Were you
cause me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Why you? Jesus rose. 